What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am the one, the only Hick Albert back at you with another video. And well, I can't say today cuz uh it's going to be a double upload type deal, so this is going to be waxing your firearm part 2. Um as y'all have known, I'm, I've uploaded this last video. Um, well, I'm going to upload this last video. Yeah, it, it'll be it'll be fucking mint. Anyways, I'm still letting this dry. I'm going to turn this fan on up here. That'll that'll help speed up the drying process some. You know what I'm saying? And. I'm going to do a little review of this Heritage Rough Rider here. Uh, I got this for my 18th. Yeah, I got this when I was 18 for Christmas. Um, my dad picked it up from Dunham Sporting Goods for like 109 bucks right out the door. It's just a little 22 long. <clears throat> um, you can shoot 22 short through it, and you can get the different cylinder that shoots 22 Magnum out of it. I don't have one yet, but I'm going to get one, so it'll be fucking mint. I carry this gun. A lot of people say you shouldn't carry a 22 long rifle, but <laughs> I'm not fucking retarded. It's all about shot placement with, with whatever kind of firearm you carry. It's all about shot placement. Now, I will argue that any day of the week to anybody. Now, I have noticed an issue with these guns. Um, pretty much every screw after a lot of shooting will work its way loose. Especially, there's two screws here. Those especially, this screw here, which I've already tightened, there's a couple of screws on the back here that'll work themselves loose. So, every time you clean a firearm, you want to make sure all them screws are tight and copacetic. You know what I'm saying? Now... This is a single action, so for each pull of the trigger, you have to work the, work the hammer back. It has the four-click system. Okay. Take it to the first one. The second one allows the cylinders to spin freely, which I'll show you that in a minute. The third one really does nothing. And the fourth one is your fire position. Now you'll notice I am dropping the hammer. I'm, I'm dropping the hammer and I have no issue doing that. Even when it's loaded, I can do that. How can I do that? Well, Heritage has this neat little thing. It's a hammer block. It's a safety. It blocks the hammer from coming into contact with the firing pin. Okay. <laughs> this allows you to carry six rounds in the chain. Well, six rounds in the cylinder. With the safety on. I do not recommend doing that. I do, however. If you want to do that, that's on you. I will not be held responsible for any accidents that may occur while doing that. It's it's a simple gun. Um, the sights aren't the best, but it's accurate. It'll shoot where you're pointing it to shoot. Um, it does have an ejector to eject the spent shells so you don't have to remove the cylinder. Mine, the screw stripped out on it, and I lost the screw, so I took it off. I kind of like it better this way anyways. It makes it look uh, more antique -y. 
But to drop the cylinder back in, it's real fucking easy. Just pull the hammer back to the second click. You open this up this here little lo loading gate here, you know. And you just drop the cylinder back in there. Grab this pin. And you line it up. Come on, line up. Come on. There you go. And then you just slide the pin in there. That right there is one of my favorite guns. I swear to God it is. I've killed, well, I've not really killed anything with it. But it's a straight shooter, I'll tell you that. Um, I filed down the front side a little bit on both the top and the sides. Um, and it really, really fucking helps it. And I do mean really helps it. Now, you know I'm shooting with the boys on Friday. So, I'll maybe have a, uh, a shooting video for you on Saturday or Friday afternoon. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. We will see. Just pay attention, okay? Just pay attention. I got big stuff coming. Big stuff. Big stuff indeed. So, this is about as dry as I'm going to let it get. I ain't letting it get all the way dry because then it's a pain in the dick and you really got to put elbow grease into it. And I don't feel like doing all that. I'm kind of lazy now. So, I'm going to move this off to the side here. Move this over so you can see it. Can you see this? Okay. And... Like I said, it's just a simple process wiping that wax off. I'll see all that. All right. And you want to get as much of it off as you can. Now, the way wax works. Don't ask me, because I'm no fucking scientist. But it doesn't take rocket appliances to figure it out, okay? Wax works by sealing the wood or the metal or whatever you're putting it on. It also adds a shine. As well as a protective sealant. Now, obviously with a car, when you wax it, you wax on, wax off, all that bullshit. Uh, it's a gun stock. It's pretty fucking similar. It doesn't take rocket appliances to figure it out. I found out everything I needed from a quick YouTube search and a quick Google search. It's not very hard. Now, you can use, you can use car wax. That's what I use. Some people might frown on, frown upon you for using car wax, but you know what? That's the thing about the firearms world. You can do what you want, and if people don't like it, well, they can make it like a tree and fuck off. Car wax works great for me. It's what I use. Uh, I just found this method last night when I couldn't sleep around uh, midnight I was learning about it and I gotta tell you it really fucking brings back the fucking appeal of a fucking stock when I picked this gun up it wasn't bad the stock was not bad But it needed a little, a little work, you know. And using the wax really fucking brought it back to life. I was gonna fucking remove the stock and sand it down and restain it and everything, but 
I don't think I'm going to. It's got scratches in it, but by God, it's still, it's still a nice fucking stock. Now, I haven't really shot this gun much, but from what I have shot it, it's kind of funky, okay? So, when you shoot a shotgun, you know, you hold it tight in your shoulder, okay? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You hold it tight in your shoulder like this, okay? But when you pull the trigger, the slide's supposed to slide back, and it don't. So you have to push it forward before you can slide it out. Y'all see what I mean? Look. Now it don't slide back. But if you push it forward a little bit, it'll slide back perfectly. It's weird, it's funky, and I fucking love it. I like weird shit, okay? Don't know why I've always been that way, though. By the way, I do not condone vaping to underage people. Um, if you're underage and watching this video, don't. I also do not condone uh, illegal firearm usage and or sales. So don't do not do that either. That's bad. That's bad. Anyways. <coughs> it's a great fucking gun. You know, I picked it up relatively cheap for a hundred bucks. And I love it. Now, you can also use the wax on the metal parts. Um, do so with caution and try not to get it in any of the screw holes and or screw heads. Um... Again, at wax acts as a cleaner and a protectant. It's a great way to clean and protect your firearm for storage. Now, for me personally, storage is on a gun rack in my bedroom hanging above my dresser. But, eventually I'm going to get a safe, a, a true gun safe. Because eventually I'll have little little youngins running around. And... Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably not. But on the barrel right here at the tip of my finger, there's two little asterisks there. That means that this has modified choke. They came with full choke. Modified choke and improved cylinder, I believe. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. But I know they came with full and modified. One asterisk is full, two asterisks is modified, and three is something else. Um, yeah, it's a great gun. I need to sight it in and pattern it in and see how it's shooting. But other than that, I mean, it, it it's smooth. And I got it, it was a little rough because it had been sitting for about a year. And the thing about these old firearms, they don't like to sit that long. You got to take them out, shoot them every now and again. It's like a car, an old car. You got to take it out of storage every now and again and drive it around and get the fluids worked up in it, you know? It's the same thing with, with older guns. If you just leave them sit and be a safe queen, what the hell is the use for a gun? Period. I don't care if it's older or newer. If, you just, if you're just letting it sit in a safe and collect dust, you are the worst kind of gun owner. And that's facts, Jack. Anyways, this will do it for this video. I'll catch you mother truckers next time. Later!